cussing. Oh, Ten years old and he's cussing. This is what we're teaching our children hater. today. Hater. Gotta love it. Hater. Gotta love it. You need a water? Hater. Hater. You are a hater. You need a water? You are a hypocrite. I know your voice has got to be You're a hypocrite. Sore. You are a hater. You are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. And you are a hater. You are a hypocrite. It's funny that everybody out here is not even a member of the church. <laughs> this is what homosexuality produces right here. Jesus Christ said in John 14, 15, and 21, If you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, keep my commandments. And then he goes on and says, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. But guess what? You have to do the will of the Father. You have to keep the Father's commandments. And what are his commandments? To love God. To love God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And what else are his commandments? To love your neighbor. And how do you love your neighbor? Guess what? If somebody was trying to break into your house, if somebody was trying to break into your house, and your neighbor was like, hey, uh, someone's trying to break into your house, that's loving them. You're telling them the truth. If there was a semi coming in this road right now and it was about to hit somebody, if it was about to hit somebody, I would love my neighbor enough to tell them the truth. Hey, that semi's about to hit you. That semi's about to hit you. And that's what we're doing. We're coming out here in love to warn our neighbors. We're warning our neighbors. That's what Noah did for 120 years. And only eight people listened to Noah. Only eight people listened to Noah. Only eight people. Eight people listen to Noah. Eight people listen to Noah. That's it. That's it. Including himself. Including himself. Nobody wanted to listen. Nobody wanted to listen to what Noah said. He said, get on the ark. Get on the ark. The flood is coming. The flood is coming, everybody. It's coming. It's coming. And they did not listen. Just like, just like at the end of the world coming. Jesus said, Jesus said, many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy, actually, but thank you. I'm very happy. Many are called, but few are chosen. What else did Jesus have to say about the end times? So what do you think about Jesus? What do you think about people who call us But what do you think about this behavior? Does this make you because you like your behavior is so much better. Unfortunately, people like us chase people away from religion, which is why religion is dying. Oh, and that's your opinion, sir. That's your opinion. Jesus prophesied of, of a time like this. Paul prophesied it would be like this. Paul prophesied of a time like this. The Word of God says, 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 2. Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Seducing spirits. Seducing spirits. That Jezebel spirit. That's what O.C. Allen has. He has a, he has a Jezebel spirit. O.C. Allen has a Jezebel spirit. Lord, rebuke that false prophet. Lord, rebuke that false prophet. Lord, rebuke him. Now, you'll say hello to him on Judgment Day. You can mock all you want. You're not going to mock Christ. Best believe that, my friend. You're not going to mock the Almighty. You're not going to mock the Almighty. It's all right. I can move around. Jezebel. You wicked Jezebel. Yeah, you're a wicked Jezebel. I got you on camera, Jezebel. But let the 
bishop, exactly. the husband of one wife. The husband of one wife, amen. The bishop is the husband of one wife. Not the husband of one husband, as O.C. Allen practices with the so-called first gentleman. The husband of one wife. See, God ordained things to be a certain way. From the very beginning, he created the male and female. God did not create them male and male. He did not create them male and male. A man of a so-called man of God that's pastoring uh, that's pastoring a congregation, if they're not living according to the standards that God set up, if the head is sick, the whole body is sick. And this head is very sick. He is a cancer. This man is a cancer to Christianity. O.C. Allen is a cancer. Lord rebuke you, O.C. Allen. You're going to have to stand before God. You're going to have to stand before Him at the white throne judgment. And He's going to say, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. I never knew you. I never knew you. I never knew you. Jesus Christ also said, this is in the end times, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. He said they would arise false Christs and false prophets. False prophets. Paul said these false prophets, these false apostles, they transformed themselves into an angel of light. They, cha they transformed themselves into the manners of God. And he said, no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan himself is transformed as an angel of light. Satan himself. Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And see, that's why we come out here and we preach. Because the truth is not being preached. If the truth was being preached, we would not have to come out here and do this. But when you have false prophets like O.C. Allen, it's teaching damnable heresy, we have to come out here and preach the truth. Because O.C. Allen's not doing it. O.C. Allen does not care for these people's souls. All he cares about is the bodies, his books, and his building. That's it. He don't care for your soul, young lady. He don't care for your soul. O.C. Allen is a false prophet. He's a false prophet. False prophet. What did John, what did the Apostle John have to say about false prophets? The Apostle John said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye not the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. He is Lord. When they confess that he is Christ, they actually believe it within their heart. And they believe the changing work that he does in people, the miracle changes that Jesus Christ does in people. So it's not enough to say it with your mouth. Your heart has to believe it also. If your heart doesn't believe it, it proves it by your actions. Your actions prove, your fruit proves if you actually believe, if you actually believe in what Jesus Christ can do for you. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You won't have to suffer persecution in jail. But true prophets and true preachers of, of the gospel, they suffer persecution for living godly. The Bible says those who live godly will suffer persecution. That's, right. That's why we suffer persecution. That's why we suffer persecution because we preach against sin. We preach about living holy and righteous and pure before the living God. Holy and righteous. Yeah, you're holy really? Jesus Christ. That's not what the Word of God says. That's not what the Bible says. Not the Bible God says in 1 Timothy chapter 3, it says in 1 Timothy chapter 3, let the bishop be the husband of one wife. Open, let the bishop be the husband of one wife. You can't be saved and gay. That's according to the Word of God. You can't live godless and saved. You have to live holy and righteous. This is a false prophet that you worship. You worship a false prophet. You worship a false prophet. That is your, that's your idol. That bishop there is your idol. That bishop in there is 
your idol. He's a, right. he's a false prophet. He's a false prophet. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Hallelujah. Right. Praise right. the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said, unless everyone repents, that they would all likewise perish. Hallelujah. They would all likewise perish. Hallelujah. So you have to live holy and righteous and blameless before the sight of God. Before the sight of God. John the Baptist came preaching repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And Jesus came preaching, Repent ye therefore, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. See, you have to repent if you stay and remain in sin. That's not repentance. You have to repent in your mind. The Greek language for repentance is changing your mind. Changing your mind. What are you changing your mind about I want to thank sins? you. I want to thank you for educating Hallelujah. Me. Repentance is changing now. your mind about sin. Changing your mind about sin. Changing your mind about sin. Changing your mind about sin. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. See, God doesn't honor the prayers who, who keep iniquity in their life. God doesn't honor anyone's prayers who keeps iniquity in their hearts. The Bible says that. The Bible says He doesn't honor the prayers of those who, who keep iniquity in their heart. But He honors the prayers of those, of those who keep His law, who keep His commandments. He honors their prayers. And those who do His will and worship Him. See, you can worship God and not live in truth. See, you can worship God in truth and in spirit. What is truth? Truth is living a life full of, of, of the truth. Living your life worshiping God in truth. Spirit. In spirit. Living your life holy. Living your life pure. See, you have to live holy and pure. Worship God in truth and in spirit. See, truth. If you're living in sin and you worship, you're not worshiping God in truth. You may worship in the spirit, but you're not worshiping in the spirit of God. You're worshiping in the spirit of the demonic. Of the demonic. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord and he's calling people out of darkness into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Will you change my battery? Where's it at? In the back? Uh, how do you do that? Does this thing slide out? Ugh, I don't want to break it. Get this side to it. You got it? Yeah, I was just making sure she got it. Right, I know, right? Well, do they know all they're doing is helping us by showing up. Come <laughs> up <laughs> And it's also awesome that aren't attending the church that are doing it. That's funny. Oh, it's all right. I can't wait to go home and be with my Lord and Savior. That's all right. <laughs> Don't worry. This ain't Orlando. We're not Muslim. We're actually Christians. We're Christians. We're Christians. I'm, uh, I'm not a Muslim. I'm a Christian. <laughs> you don't know what Christianity is. And most people down here in this lukewarm state of Georgia have no idea what Christianity is. Southern, Southern, Southern Christianity is a joke. It really is. See, um, it's really a joke down here. Nothing but lukewarm. And, and the Lord Jesus said, I will spew thee out of my mouth if you're lukewarm. Yeah, All Revelation lukewarm chapter 3. Do you ever read that in the, in the church? That he will spew out lukewarm Christians out of his mouth? Because you are neither hot nor good, I will spew thee out of my mouth. <laughs> Tell the truth. I guess Noah Hard, was a bigot too. Harden not your heart this day, sir. Harden not your heart this day, sir. I guess Soften Noah was a bigot too. Today, I guess God, Christ was a bigot. Soften your heart today, God. God, soften your heart, man. Soften your heart today. Harden not your heart. Pardon not your heart. So Be ignorant. the truth, man. This Come out so of ignorant. it. Read the Bible for yourself. Read the Bible. Read the Bible for yourself, man. 
read the Bible, don't believe what wolves are telling you, man. I love you, man. That's why I'm telling you, you must come out from darkness into his light, into his light. See, the Bible says, unless you are born again, you can't see the kingdom of heaven. See, you have to repent of your sins to be born again. You have to repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ with all of your heart to be born again. You're not born again if you're, if you're remaining in sin. The Bible says whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. Nor known him. Hallelujah. Nor known him. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. But you have to repent of your sins. You have to repent of your sins. You have to repent and turn to Jesus Christ of your from your sins. The Bible says, the Bible says, 1 Timothy chapter 3, it says, it says, if a man desires to be a bishop, he desires a good thing. He desires a good thing. Let the bishop be the husband of one wife. One Let wife. the bishop be the husband of one wife. Read 1 Timothy chapter one 3, wife. sir and ma'am. Read 1 Timothy chapter 3. Do, is your pastor or bishop the husband of one wife according to the Bible? Nope. No, he's a husband of another husband, I guess. I guess that's what it is. A husband of another husband. First gentleman or whatever you call it. But God is calling you. Calling you to come out. Calling he's actually the female out. of the relationship. Yeah, um, I'm told that uh, the bishop is the man of the relationship and he's the uh, female, but he's not a female. That first gentleman is not a female. He's a man. He's a man. God, God made Adam and Eve to multiply the earth, to multiply the earth and be fruitful. You cannot be fruitful if you're a homosexual. You cannot be fruitful if you live unholy and unrighteous and ungodly. You cannot be fruitful and multiply in the Lord Jesus Christ. See, see, I used to, I used to have the desire for bisexuality, but Jesus set me free. See, the Bible says, "Who the Son sets free is free indeed." Amen. Who the Son sets free is free indeed. And you know, you have to be, you have to walk in freedom from sin. You have to be free from sin. That's what that's talking about. You have to be free from sin. Even, even the dressing. The Bible talks about being oh, modest. Goodness. The, the Bible talks about being modest. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's a little strange, man. That's a little strange. Speaking in, of modest. In his under, underwear. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. underwear underneath. that's pretty strange. That looks like uh, underwear to me, man. <laughs> why, are you, why are you looking down there? Well, I mean, you're out in the open, man. I mean, you're out in the open, brother. Man. You, you need to oh, uh, get some clothes on, clothes on, man. That's, that's <laughs> decent exposure. <laughs> you need to get some clothes on, man. Clothes, that's pretty that's pretty disgusting man <laughs> pretty disgusting man hallelujah we got new people out here in georgia and it's pretty weird right now <laughs> coming live you coming know, live from, from, from the no vision church the no vision church hallelujah hallelujah See, but jesus said make righteous judgment that's jesus right said, make righteous judgment not upon each other Actually, he said in Matthew chapter 7 there? not to use hypocritical judgment. And I don't live in sin. I'm not a practicing willful sinner. You're a sinner by preaching. No, I'm, I'm a preacher. I'm a preacher. No, I you're love, the one giving the false words. You you're the one giving I, I the false words because scripture. you like sin I rather than God. You like sin how much rather than God, sir. What? You like how much sin rather than God. You hold sin above God. You hold sin above God. You hold sin above God. You don't hold it. You don't hold you don't hold you don't hold God above sin. You don't hold God above sin. The Bible says many many people worship Him with their lips, but their heart is far from Him. By their own traditions, they make void the commandments of God. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're reading the New Testament. Written in the 13th century. Hallelujah. No, it's it's been written since the first century. No, actually, the holy scriptures, holy scriptures, holy scriptures that were inspired by God from holy men of God. Hallelujah. My Jesus Bible Christ said that you have to repent and turn. Repent and turn. Repent and turn. He talked about hell a lot of times. He talked about the lake of fire a lot of times in the Bible. The Bible says all liars will cast into the lake of fire. All liars will cast into the lake of fire. How? Oh, you're telling me I'm only reading a New Jesus Testament. Is the These people are here the worshiping God. God. No, they're not. They're worshiping Jesus David. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. But yet they're, they're worshiping God. Christ. The they're worshiping God. Holy, they're not righteous, and blameless. No, they're not. They're righteous and blameless. You have to live godly in this present moment because the grace of God that is the gift of all men teaches us to deny ungodliness and work and lust that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, in this present age. See, in Revelation chapter 3, he said, 
be zealous therefore and repent because you are either full of the hot or of you're a modern day out of my mouth. How are the Pharisees? How are my Pharisees? You're a Pharisee. Christianity. Yes. It's going to so spew up. You preach, but yet you are not set free. How do you know that? How do you know that? He's going to spew out more Christianity. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is King of kings and He's calling men out of darkness into His light. He's calling men out of darkness into His marvelous light. See, 1 Timothy chapter 3 says, woman, woman, if you want to be a good wife, you need to be a good wife. This church is not honoring the Holy Apostles' word. This church is not honoring the Bible's word. How many wives did Moses have? Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said that you have to repent. You have to repent. You have two options. Repent or perish according to Luke 13, 3. You have to repent and, and change your mind about your sin. The holy and the righteous and blameless. Hallelujah. See, Romans chapter 6 says, Shall we sin that grace may abound? Certainly not, God forbid. How can we who have died to sin live any longer therein? Sin? How can we who have... And we are baptized with Jesus Christ. If we be baptized with Jesus Christ, then sin has been put to death. Then sin has been put to death. Sin has been put to death. He is holy and righteous and He will judge righteously at His appearing in great power and glory. In great power and glory. In great power and glory. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, I feel the presence of the Holy Ghost because the Holy Ghost is speaking the truth. No, I The Holy Ghost is speaking the truth. The Holy Ghost is speaking the truth through His holy prophets. Through His holy prophets speaking to you, telling you to come out of darkness. Come out of darkness and walk in newness of life. Walk in newness of life. Live holy and blameless in the sight of God. In the sight of Jesus Christ. See, Jesus rebuked the Pharisees and said, You eat shrimp? Said that man's wearing a shirt. You eat shrimp? Said that you, uh, you eat pig? You keep your own traditions. You got a Levitical priest. But make void the commandments oh, of the Lord. You got a Levitical priest. Nice so, God. That's a common cop by all the commandments of God. He's you not a Levitical priest. the commandments of God by your own so tradition. So you pick your own you commandments? You make void. Those laws were set up by the Lord. You make void the commandments of God. You make void the commandments of God. Not the the other words, other words, tradition. other words, be quiet, Satan. Make the commandments of the oh, Lord by your own Satan. tradition. Oh, the Bible please, says, First Timothy chapter 3, let the, husband be, let the bishop oh, be the husband of one wife. Is your bishop the husband of one wife? No, he's not. He is the husband of another husband. That is a shame on you, Vision Church. Shame on you for disobeying God's word. Right. Shame on you. God will look down on you what and say, you don't from? repent if you haven't repented, and say, I want to you have been your sent church. to you, holy prophets of the living God, at the day of judgment. We don't have any you, public sidewalks. You will sidewalks. have no excuse. You will have, have no excuse for your sin. We don't have public sidewalks. God will say, I, I sent on your to you. I sent you, my holy prophets. Told you and warned you of the coming judgment oh, right for practicing here, this, 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 sin. Lord God says, we're two or three are gathered. My name, we live holy and righteous. The Bible says, "Be holy, I am holy." Hallelujah! Hallelujah! God took them out two by two. Denominational stuff that's man made. That's man made. That's it's man -made all stuff. wicked. Pentecostalism. That's believers that's and the, brothers that's, in that's Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So, Jesus if you're believers in Christ, what are the only words Christ said? The only words. No, that was Hallelujah. No, Jesus is God. People this was all inspired You're telling me Jesus wrote a book? Jesus Christ. Oh, he hides behind a sign. No, I'm just not going to answer Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said that it would be worse for you than for Sodom and Gomorrah, sir. It will be worse for you than for Sodom and Gomorrah. Man, because you have, the word. you have the truth, but you ignore the truth because you're born again. You're not born again. You, you ignore have. the truth. Something if you were born again, you would you know? want to have. turn from your sin. You would want to turn from your sins. Short. If you were truly born again, you would want to turn from you? your sins. Turn from your sins. Hallelujah. What is Hallelujah. What are Jesus you Christ is Lord. Lord. He is King of glory. He is King of glory. And the Lord of the Lord. This isn't naked. You want to see glory? The Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. No, no, I wouldn't do it. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Such perversion. Oh, so Such perversion. Christ Such perversion. perversion. Jesus Christ is Such worthy. Perverse. Jesus Christ is worthy. The Bible Perverse. says... Let you the bishop be the dead. husband of one I'm not talking about you. Repent of your homosexuality and turn to Jesus Christ. Take it out Christ. you want, sir. Repent of your homosexuality and turn to Jesus Christ. Repent of your fornication and turn to Jesus Christ. 
a kid. Okay, because you're not servants of Jesus Christ. 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 This guy is speaking in tongues. that are of the devil because he's speaking in tongues but not obeying the Lord. He's speaking in a false tongue. He's speaking in a false, false demonic, demonic tongue. tongue. That's right. See, you That's what Pentecostals do. That's what Pentecostals do. You have a false yeah. demonic tongue because Damn. you live in a firm of sin. You're not of God. The Bible says whoever you sins is of the, the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For the Son of God was pure as evil. That he might destroy the works of the devil. See, you're a child of the devil, son. You're a child of the devil because you don't live holy and righteous. You're a form of sin. You're a child of the devil. He's a child of the devil. He speaks in a false tongue because he doesn't obey God. The Bible says by your own tradition, you make void the commandments of God. You make void the commandments of God by your own tradition. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. Shame on you for making void the commandments of God by the, by the your own tradition. I have the gift of Holy Spirit. I know the power of God. You speak in a false tongue. This is a shame of God. You speak in a false tongue. You speak if in a false tongue. You speak 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 in a false t
This guy's a false prophet. False prophet. Exactly. You don't know that. You don't know that. You don't know that. Eight You don't know that. You don't know that, sir. You don't know that, sir. Quit judging God. Quit judging God. Quit judging God. You are judging God. You're judging what God told us to come out and do. So you're judging God. You're judging God. You're judging God, you're judging God sir. You're judging God. And then tell the word much more politely and nicely. Oh, really? Really? Because obviously that's not working. This guy lets them feel dead in their sin. He says, hey, you can stay and remain a homosexual and go to heaven. That's a lie from the pit of hell. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're telling me, Jesus, abs like that and 12 guys oh, walking boy. around. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. About it. Here we go. And when did, when, when did you ever see an image of Jesus? You know what the word of God says? It says to make no graven image. No graven image. No graven image. No graven image of things in heaven or of things in earth. No graven image. So you have no idea what Jesus Christ looked like. And you don't either, but I'll tell you. You have no idea what Jesus Christ looked like. And he wasn't white. I know that. He wasn't black either. Oh yeah, he's he was. a Middle Easterner. Middle Easterners. Middle Easterners. Middle Easterners are tan. Which they were black. I know my wife is Middle Eastern. Yeah. Uh huh. She is. His wife. His wife. She must be miserable. His wife is Syrian. Well, I'm from Israel. So no, you're is that not. a problem? No, you're oh, not. yeah, I am. No, you're not. You don't think so? Yeah. Well, let's see what the Bible says about that. Oh, now you're going to go and tell me that God's chosen people aren't going to get into heaven. No. It says in the Word of God. It says in the Word of God, not as though the Word of God had taken on effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Who wrote that book? They are what not God? all Israel that are of Israel. That's Romans 9 6. Wrote that for the time that Romans 9 6. Not everyone God that comes from Israel is of everyone. Israel. Not everyone. And at the day of judgment, it will be God that judges. Not you That's not true. That's not true. Not you That's not true. That's not true. Read the word of God. Read the word of God. Read the word of God. Let's read what first Do you eat shellfish? Do you eat pig? And I know you're going to say Levit Leviticus again. Wrong. What do you mean wrong? Wrong. What do you mean wrong? Those are words I'm spoken not, by people that said God said not to do this. I'm not a Levitical priest. Oh, what are you? I'm not a Levitical priest. You're Am not I a anything, Levite? Man. Am I a Levite? Come on, man. Then what are you? Quit picking and choosing what scriptures no, you are believing. You're picking and choosing what scriptures you're No, I actually study the right word. There. The word of God right says, there. but he, but he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man. And you're judging us. Did you not just hear what I said? We are politely saying, this is our home. Not my home, but this is their home. Kindly. Kindly. Oh, we're preaching the gospel. Well, I'm preaching it back to you in my way. I know the word of God. I was raised in the church. I don't care. That doesn't mean nothing. Most of these people down here are raised in the church. And that's why Southern Christianity is lukewarm. It's weak. It's an effeminate gospel. That's why you have all these queers running around in the church. Yeah, yeah, That's why you have queers as pastors and bishops. It's not even ordained up by God. Lord rebuke that. Lord rebuke that. That's a wicked abomination from the pit of hell. A wicked abomination. And O.C. Allen, is, he's reprobate. That dude is reprobate. And he's going straight to hell and he's leading many, many people with him. He's a reprobate false prophet. I call you out, O.C. Allen. You are not a man of 